terms of legal highs between now and two years ago. I'd say there's more of them. That'd be the, the biggest thing. Uh, even today it was announced that there was 57 more since January and in the whole of last year they detected 49 new ones. So it seems to be that there's not any more, but there's more increasing rate. You know, I, I, I have no idea. I, I, I also am not too sure whether or not uh, there has been a dramatic increase. I know the figures that we have uh, in terms of deaths associated with methadrone, we find there's been more, and that might be because methadrone has been used more, or it could be that we're measuring the numbers better. And uh, it, it, there's always the possibility that uh, we might find more people have died as a consequence of these drugs just because we start to look more. I, I think trying to prevent them is probably something that I'd favour in, 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 the, in the first place. You know, you've got a really phenomenal growth in the number of drugs and the truth is it's probably pretty hard to educate people about uh, so many new drugs. So I think it needs to, we need to find a solution to try to kind of decrease the pressure in the growth of these new drugs. I mean, I, I feel quite strongly in general that uh, I don't quite understand why people are criminalised in general for possessing drugs or using them. You know, you, you, you could view it the way that people get conned into uh, buying something and using something that's harmful to them. It kind of seems a bit wrong to, uh, you know, punish them again. You, 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 could definitely, you could get punished by the harms of the drug, you could get punished by spending money on something that's not really worth spending money on and then you get criminalised on top of it. I'm not too sure that that's good for anyone, let alone people buying legal highs. I haven't really heard the term drug revolution before uh, and although, you know, there's a lot of uh, attention to these changes and there does appear to be a very dramatic growth in things, I'm not too sure that I would call it revolution. I think it would be better to see it as a problem that needs to be addressed and probably slowly and gently and sensibly and thoughtfully rather than in a revolutionary radical way.